Marie-José Talou and Mura Lahure, both of whom represent the West African nation of Côte d'Ivoire, are undoubtedly the two best short sprinters in African history. In 2022, Marie-José Talou ran an African record of 10.72 seconds in the 100 meter dash. That time made her the seventh fastest woman in the history of the event. Four years earlier, in 2018, fellow Ivorian Mura Lahore ran 6.97 seconds in the 60 meter dash. That also made her the seventh fastest woman in the history of the event. These two performances are just a small portion of the large impact both Ohure and Talu have made in the sprints. In the past decade, both ladies have not only thrust their country of Côte d'Ivoire into the spotlight when it comes to fast times and global medals, but also completely dominated and led the way for sprinting on the continent of Africa as a whole. So let's dive into how Marie-José Talou and Mira Lahore have represented Côte d'Ivoire and dominated African sprinting over the past decade. Between 1983 and 2011, African women won a total of three medals in the 100, 200, and 400 meters. Amy Mbake Tiam of Senegal won 400 gold at the 2001 World Championships in Edmonton and 400 bronze at the 2003 World Championships in Paris. And Amantil Macho of Botswana won 400 gold at the Daegu 2011 World Championships. In that same time frame at the Olympic Games between 1984 and 2012, Mary Onyali of Nigeria won 200 bronze at the 1996 Olympics, and Falilat Ongukoya, also of Nigeria, won 400 bronze at the 1996 Olympics as well. Add to that indoors in the 60 meter, 200, and 400 meters between 1985 and 2010. Again, Ogunkoya of Nigeria won world indoor silver in Mambeshi 1999, and Rudy Zeng Milama of Gabon won world indoor bronze in 2010. So over about three decades from the early 80s to the early 2010s, that's a total of six African women winning seven individual medals across sprint events indoors and outdoors. Since then, we have seen a few more women win medals in the sprints as well. Mancho again of Botswana won 400 silver in Moscow 2013. Blessing Okabare of Nigeria won 200 bronze in Moscow 2013. And Christine Mboma of Namibia won 200 silver in Tokyo 2020. So, three more women winning three more medals, combined with the previous seven for a total of 10 individual medals from the early 80s all the way to present day. With that, let's talk about what Mira Lahore and Maria Jose Talou of Côte d'Ivoire have done in the past decade as well, as these two alone have collected almost as many medals as the rest of the African continent combined in the past 40 years. Mira Lahore, coming out of the NCAA at the University of Miami in 2009, went on to win a silver medal in the 60 meter dash at the 2012 World Indoor Championships. Though she made the finals at the 2012 Olympic Games in London in both the 100 and 200, she unfortunately was unable to grab a spot on the podium. But a year later, at the 2013 World Championships in Moscow, Russia, Ahure showed out. While Shelly Ann Fraser Price was winning double sprint gold, Ahure was right behind winning double silver first in the 100 meters and then again in the 200 meters. But she wasn't done. At the 2014 World Indoor Championships, Ahure followed up winning another silver medal in the 60 meter dash. Ahure would end her medal winnings in 2018 when she finally reached the top of the podium with a gold medal at the World Indoor Championships in Birmingham. So just a quick recap, that's five global medals for Ahure over the course of six years. That's exactly half of all the medals won across the continent by other women in Africa over 40 years. Now let's look at Marie-José Talou. She came onto the scene a bit later as she is a bit younger than Ahure, but she was just as impactful. At the 2016 Olympics, Talou made the finals in both the 100 and 200 meters, similar to Ahure in 2012. But Talou was also unable to make it onto the medal stand, finishing the dreaded fourth place in both events. But from there, she went on an absolute tear. In 2017, four years after Ahure did it, Talou finished second place in both the 100 meters and 200 meters at the London World Championships. Both of her races were super close as she was hundreds of a second from winning double gold. Regardless, 
The following year, at the 2018 World Indoor Championships, Talu was right behind Ahure's 60 meter gold, winning a silver medal and leading a 1-2 sweep of the podium for Cote d'Ivoire. She wasn't done yet though. 2019, Talu once again found herself on the podium, earning 100 meter silver at the Doha World Championships. Now, Talu still has some years to go, but that's four global medals within three years, almost half of the 10 medals the rest of the continent collected again over four decades. So combining Ahure and Talu, we can see that these two ladies from Cote d'Ivoire have won a total of nine medals indoors or out in the span of 10 years. While over approximately 40 years since the early 80s, all other women from African nations across the continent have won a total of 10 individual medals indoors or out. That is absolute dominance and clearly shows that these two ladies have represented well despite the lack of representation on the podium for the continent. Let me be clear though, this isn't to say that the other African ladies who have won medals are less than these two ladies. They are absolutely to be celebrated and I just look at what Talu and Ahure have done as building on the success that has been achieved by those before them, such as Tiam, Onyali, and others. Now, let's look at some of their times a bit. In 2009, Ahure left the NCAA with a 100 meter personal best of 11.09 seconds. The African record at that point was 10.90 seconds held by Gloria Lozi of Nigeria. By 2012, Ahure had run sub-11 for the first time with 10.99 seconds in the rounds at the Olympic Games. A year later, in 2013, the African record was dropped to 10.79 seconds by Blessing Okubare of Nigeria. But Ahure had managed to get her personal best down to 10.91 seconds, making her the third fastest African ever. That year, she also ran times of 10.95, 10.95, and 10.93. In 2015, Ahure ran 10.81 seconds at the Prefontaine Classic, inching her closer and closer to that African record of 10.79. Finally, a year later, in 2016, Ahure ran a time of 10.78 seconds in Florida, claiming the African record in the 100 meter dash. Though this would hold as her personal best, Ahure would also run times of 10.83, 10.90 and 10.91 on two occasions in the following two years. Now, Talu entered the mix in 2016 when she ran 10.86 seconds in the 2016 Olympic final, making her the third fastest African of all time, only behind Okabare and Ohure. In 2017, Talu got even more consistent with times of 10.90, 10.87, and 10.86 matching her personal best from the previous year. 2018, Talu went a tick down with a personal best of 10.85 early in the season, along with times of 10.88 and 10.89 throughout the year. Once again, she would match her personal best in the 2019 season, running 10.85 at the Doha World Championships. 2021 would be Talu's year, as she would now equal Ahure's national and African record with a time of 10.78 seconds at the Tokyo Olympic Games. She backed that up with runs of 10.79 and 10.86 that same year. Finally, 2022, Talu would once again drop the hammer. She would run 10.72 seconds at the Monaco Diamond League, taking six hundredths of a second off her own African record. She would back that up a few weeks later, running 10.78 seconds, equaling the previous African record that both herself and Ahure had held. So let's put these times from Ahure and Talu in the larger context. Prior to them running, Cote d'Ivoire's 100 meter national record was 11.17 seconds run by Makarija Sanganoko in 2002. The African record was 10.90 seconds by Nigeria's Gloria Lozi in 1999. By 2022, Ahure and Talu now had the four fastest times in African history with 10.72 and three 10.78s. They both also now owned 36 of the top 51 times run in African history in the 100 meter dash. Globally, Talu is ranked number seven all time while Ahure is number 17 all time in the history of the event. Now, I didn't even mention the 60 meter dash where Ahure owns the African record at 6.97 seconds 
as well as the top five times in the history of the event. And along with Talu, they have 12 of the top 16 African performances in 60 meter dash history. Globally, Ahure is ranked number seven all time, while Talu is number 20 all time in the history of the 60 meter dash. So in just one decade, two women from Cote d'Ivoire, a country that has been severely underrepresented in track and field, overlooked by other giants of Africa, such as Nigeria, South Africa, Kenya, Ethiopia, they came onto the world stage and not only became the two greatest short sprinters on the continent, but inserted themselves in the global conversation and left their mark on the all-time list and on multiple medal stands. Both Ahure and Talu still have some years to go before they hang up their spikes. So look for them to continue putting down amazing performances and usher in a new generation of sprinters, not only from Cote d'Ivoire, but also from Nigeria, Botswana, South Africa, and all across the continent. So let me know what you think of Miru Lahore and Maria Jose Talou. Do you think either of them will win more medals at future global championships? Will we see the African record of 10.72 seconds go further down? What about the future of African sprinting and some younger athletes that will follow in their footsteps? Be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and be back again next time. Thanks.